guys hello how are you um have you subscribed yet to my channel if you haven't please do click notifications and give me a thumbs up if you like anything i do today i'm going to have a look through some of my ball gowns because i've got a ball to go to on 28th of november and rather than buy something new i want to wear something that i've bought before and only wore once so um i've got my ball gowns out on the bed here at the moment and um, i'm gonna have a try on session so um I'd be interested because I haven't worn these gowns for at least, I'm trying to think now, 13, 14 years. Um, I've obviously changed in body size over those years and I've aged. So some of them I might have thought looked nice in this day, may not now. I've obviously grown a few um, inches since then, so they might not fit me. I've got time to get into them if they are tight. Um, so yeah, so see what I've got can maybe help me choose right so these are all the gowns that I've laid out here so I've got a plain black one here which is just a little bit of detail I think it's from principles actually that shows how long ago it is it's a bit see-through though look didn't realize that when I bought it um, this one I love it's like my Marilyn Monroe one I have got the short version of this dress as well um, but it's just very um, yeah do you reckon very Marilyn Monroe. Black again. This one is halter neck um, and got a long sort of fishtail at the back. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't just yet. So I'm going to smooth that over. Um, so that's my three black ones. I've got a red one, which I bought in Barbados actually from Boutique. That probably won't fit me. It's quite tight fitting. Um, but that comes with a really nice wrap on that one. So we'll try all these on. Then this one I love from Monsoon. And again, it's got a wrap. You just can't see it. But this is probably three quarter length but i just love the detail here on this one and then this used to be my favorite it was a strapless one which has a um little wrap as well with it um and it's beautiful and this came from china actually from uh, beijing which i had ordered and uh, had it made to measure so yeah so let's have a bit of a try and see what you think guys okay guys so this is dress number one I just tripped over lola who's at my feet um, can you see? You probably can't even see what it looks like coming down, so I'm just going to drop you down now. There we go. Right, what do you think? There's a little spider behind my feet now, so... Fits me. In fact, if I lose weight, it's going to have to um, be turned up and taken in. So, what do you think is this one? And I said this one has a shawl to match. Just tied my hair up because I put my hair up with it, or maybe not. I don't know. What do you think? I love the ruche detail here. I don't know if you can see that on this dress, it's quite flattering. If I can lose some weight, it might be quite nice. So that's number one. Okay, so this is the one that I love the shape of, but I'm gonna have to slim into this one because it was a challenge to get into it. I do love this bit of it, it's sexy. Um, so I've got it done up, but it's tight. Um, it does need me to lose those 18 pounds to get into. So what do you think? Hey, okay. it's sexy. This is a monsoon one, which I loved. There we go. Right, this is the one I had made in China. Um, it's got a shorter with it. Um, they're all a bit long because they um, will need heels obviously on the day. Um, so this is just literally fitted strapless with the beaded detail here. Um, again, probably need to lose a bit of weight for the silhouette. But uh, what do you think? Number three. Okay, so this is the first of the black numbers, um, and bizarrely, if I wore this one, it'd have to be taken in, because it's too big on the top. Um, but I love, again, the beading here. Um, I don't know if you can see on my bum, all this beading down here. Um, and it's got a little bit of fishtail all the way down um, there. The beading goes all the way down on it but it would need to come in definitely here guys 
because it is too big, um, which is good. But I love the cutout here and the halter neck. So this is dress number four. Okay, so this one um, doesn't do up. Does anyone what doesn't do up? Yeah, um, it's from Wallace. Um, what I loved about this one is the way the back forms. Um, this would do up here. I should do it up it's easier. Shows you. Oops. Should I say? All right, that's done there. Okay, so if you see the back, which I love, um, and then it's got the sexy split there. But it's not full length, I'm not quite sure actually for a ball is what I'm looking for. Um, I could lose weight and get it done up, but yeah, no, that's not going to be one of my contenders, I think. Fits in lovely, I love the shape, and if I lost weight, it would make me look really slim. But I think this is more for a general night out other than a ball. So there's one more black dress to try. Let's see that one. Okay, so this is my final one, and I said this is my... Uh, dress that I used to love. Um, I've got the shorter version of this as well. Um, it's the Marilyn Monroe look. I'm just not sure whether for a work do. The uh, boobs out jobby is ideal. Um, I don't know if I lost some weight, maybe it'd look better. Um, yeah, but I do like it. And it nips in at the waist lovely. And it's quite um, fetching around the stomach and the waist. Um, and I probably, in a month's time, if I tried it on again, it would fit differently. Um, it's just whether I'd have too much boob on show. I don't know. What do you think? So that's my final one, guys. So, there we go. Right, so, that is it. What do you think? Which one do you like the most? Hubby's not sure now. He originally liked the, sort of, um, not purpley colour, but you know what I mean. It's the, the one that's got the split up the top from Monsoon. Um, but then he liked the black one because the back and then he loved the blue one which used to be my favourite as well so now I don't know what I'm thinking of doing is um, before I make a final decision is trying them on again in a month's time um, if I try it on say three weeks to go before the event I've got time to go and get it altered because a couple of them there I think will need altering um, my body has changed um, the Marilyn Monroe one I love the only problem is since I had my breast cancer, my boobs aren't the same. Um, I know I've had um, an operation to have an implant put in the one to try and make it more like the other, but the shapes are very different. So I'm very self-aware that you can tell. You probably don't, um, but I can tell. Um, you can see my tattoos from radiation. I'm not gonna worry about those because they are my trophies that I got through breast cancer. So. Um, they will be there regardless i'm not going to worry about those it's just whether it fits nicely on the stomach the waist and the boobs i think for me all of them the length is perfect um what i do with my hair my makeup my jewelry will depend on the dress obviously so but the good thing is i don't need to worry about buying a new dress which right now would be a waste of money so yes that wasn't as bad as i thought it was going to be i was dreading it i was thinking they're all going to be like way too small um, and in fact some of them already would need taken in if they are my dress of choice on the day so that's always a really good thing isn't it guys so if you have a preference let me know what you think and uh, I'll give you an update in about a month's time to let you know which one I decide on um, so yeah thanks guys if you like this don't forget to click um, subscribe notifications and give me a thumbs up and in the comments tell me which one you think I should be aiming to wear on the day and just in case you need a reminder, here they are.
So I'll catch you soon. Take care. Bye.